What? Check this out. Elephants have been spotted shopping at Target. No way. I can't wait to click on it and find out more. <gasps> What's this? Oh, digital literacy. Today we're going to be talking about clickbait. So what is this thing called clickbait? Well, it's an attention grabber. It's a bit like when your teacher asks you to have a great lead in your writing, something that will grab your reader's attention and leave them wanting more. Clickbait's a little bit like that. It grabs your attention and it just, the inside of you just says, let's go, let's click on it, let's find out more. It's not always a good idea. So why do people have clickbait on their websites? Well, they want to sell you something, something to unsuspecting internet users like students or family members. And sometimes it's not to sell something. It's just that they want to spread a virus or some malware that makes your computer not work anymore. And so that's called going viral when it travels from computer to computer. So what does it look like? Well, let's take a quick look. Here are three examples that I found on student websites that we use in the Media Center. They were taken from ABC and typing.com. You'll notice that they're pretty colorful. And sometimes when we see them, we might want to click on them. It's not always a good idea. So how can I tell if something is clickbait? Well, it's going to be strategically placed. It's usually off to the side of the screen or in a pretty important location where you might accidentally click on it. It's going to be very colorful, or it might even have a really strange headline, like elephants shopping at Target. And finally, one way that we can tell right away is to look for these two symbols way up in the corner of the clickbait. So let's go visit some sites that we use in the Media Center to see if we can spot our clickbait. Let's start with ABC. Here's a game that I was going to play called Fuzz Bug Graphing. And when you look at it, you see this the rockets going around. And I noticed that right over here it says Start Now. It would be so easy to click on Start Now and think that you're going to play the game. However, I do see those symbols right up here in the corner. And I notice that it says Continue on our website get the Super Coupon Pro extension. Well, I just want to play a game. So if I'm really good at reading, I will notice that it tells me I'm leaving this site. So I will click here to begin. Let's take a look at typing.com. Here's another one. I'm getting ready to do my typing lessons and I notice a great big green square that says continue. Part of me says, yeah, let's click here and continue. But again, using my eyes, I see those two symbols up in the corner that tell me that they're an advertisement. So let's get rid of those. There we go, clickbait gone. All right, if you're ready to have some fun, you can try your own clickbait. This is a clickbait generator and I'll put the link to it in our presentation. And so if I wanna try creating my own headline, I got sloths. Let's see what kind what comes up. Nine reasons you can blame the recession on a sloth. Ooh, I might want to click on that. Eleven ways investing in sloths can make you a millionaire. Whoa! Who wouldn't like to be a millionaire? That would be so fun. How about trying my hand at creating my own headline? Sloth. Oh. They're telling me it's not good enough. People wouldn't click on it. They only gave me a score of a 10. I'm going to try to make a better headline to grab attention. Sloth who eat grapes. Ooh, I'm still getting a 10. All right. Sloths who love to swim and eat grapes. Oh, 85. Yes, I did it. I created my own headline for more clickability. All right, that was today's lesson. Be internet savvy, friends. Don't click on clickbait.